Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. My name is Blackbird and we're here in the Royal Palace. I want to show here this painting of the king. It's totally messed up, the slime is completely vandalized it. But anyway, let's go down, we have a mission to continue. And like I said before, as we rescue monsters, there's going to be here on the castle and on the city. They're going to increase the population and they'll be around doing stuff. As we get new people to join the village, oh, the t the city, sorry, uh, they're gonna be increasing uh, access to stuff, um, offering new features, offering uh, access to new areas, and they're going to be overall joining our team for something that we're gonna find here in this episode. So let's go and continue the adventure. Here we have the map, and let's go to no forest, forest, no Tutenschleiman Stomp. Go, yes, I was pressing B instead of A. The Tom and Tutenschleiman. Let's continue. This area looks a lot like instead of a desert area, it looks more like a sort of kind of a uh, water park. I oh, I need to get a catnip. I want catnip, I want cats to follow me. Wait, here's uh, one thing that we're gonna need on the game, and game is introducing right now, is that some arrows are going to be blocked by those cannons, just like this. Oh, another person to rescue. Anyway, uh, if we throw the, the bullet here, the cannon is gonna shoot the bullet. If we get in front of the bullet, you know, kinda we're gonna get hit, we're gonna get hurt. And we rescued a new slime. The, uh, the cannonballs respawn as you guys saw here. They, they do that because if you fail you're, uh, in some puzzles that require the use of the... Oh no! I threw the baby. And I threw everything. Well, just because you guys saw, this serves a, as a method of transportation and we get damaged from that. Let me get the platypus. I didn't got a platypus. Those enemies are annoying. They get uh, scenario stuff to throw at you. So let me launch everything on the water version of the Trans Slime Minion system of transportation. And it's like no, it's not a railway, it's a water, uh, waterway. What I get here, check, let's check the name B. Oh, we got a correspondence from his royal woobliness. Let's check this. Another chest. Those items you get in the start are they're not the best. We get way better items later. Let's see what Nambi has for us. Oh, so cute. You see, a baby gave us a cannonball. A can a cannon bullet. Let's go back. Uh, and here we have those items, those uh obelisks. They are pro possibly one of the strongest uh, items we're gonna find for something you're gonna find in this episode. That it's found wide in the open. Not, it's not something you get from a ladder or that we craft. So I'm gonna get a few now because they're gonna be useful in the next few episodes. Um, let's continue here. Um, let's get. Gotta get right under them because. Uh, please. Yes, yeah, the last blast working. Oh no! Yeah, you gotta get under them when they fly over just because of that. Oh, kitty. I'm gonna take a key to top back to Tom. They bro <laughs> another one broken. They break easily, but uh, they're one of the best items for. Um, I don't want it to spoil anything, but they're one of the best early items for the uh, for throwing on other stuff. Let's just say it this way. Let me continue here. Oh, nothing here. I'm trying to get a leaf. And like, uh, here I'm showing you out on the wild, uh, you know, a cat playing with a catnip. Sorry, I, though I failed the word here. I'm a little bit tired, sorry. Anyway, let's throw this here. Go with your catnip, little cat. There is another cannonball and another cannon and another cannon bullet. 
Why am I thinking so much about cannonballs? And explode it. Another slime. Save it. And like I said, a few slimes of different shapes started showing up. In the last episode, we sh uh, showed up a slime that was uh, a rocky slime, and now we have one of a seashell over its, uh, over its head. Another leather. Let's check it. Berry. A rock bomb. Okay, let's continue. And again, this map is really big, but we can't really explore it right now because it's early in the game. Oh. Another of the platypus, uh. Oh, he is after the water flood. Why they are all after the water flood? <laughs> oh, he uses a pair of glasses. Uh. Okay. So you want me to help you despite me being a slime? Maybe he's not the brightest one around, but yeah, let's help him. We're, we're a rocket, we're a, we're a really nice guy and everything, so let's let's help. Maybe he's be going to become a friend, maybe it's a foreshadowing of something, just maybe. And sir, you have a tree over your head. Yes, best buds. <laughs> this game is full of puns, dude. It's one of the... It's, it, I love why the, the work the translation team, the localization team did in this game. I don't know if it's this kind of puns exist on the Japanese version of the game, but really, congratulations to the localization team for bringing those puns to the, to the American localization, for the Western localization. I think they are also there on the... On the European version. Oh no, I broke. Oh, I broke her. Nape. Eh. Anyways, save a tree. And they won't die if they are smashed by the. No. Ah! I'm an idiot. Well, let's continue. Oh my god. Uh, I can't advance here yet. Oh, those those bricks can be smashed through with the lasso blast. We can go break through them. Um, let me throw this here and let's continue. I love those enemies with the hammer. They are they are li really shy. I, I I'm kind of trying to hold myself to not spoil anything. Because uh, most of the stuff I'm gonna talk you're gonna guys going, going to see in three right, uh, n not right now, but mm, I believe in the next episode. And it's interesting how the, uh, they the turns is like main and change with the scenario. It's an interesting gameplay mechanic, but they change everything with the scenario. It's not really consistent. Sometimes it's a railway, sometimes it's a waterway. But the cards here are made of sand, and it not, does not make much sense. And another slime. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I wanted to carry that one. Uh, we gotta move this here through the tracks. And as you are seeing, like I said on the last episode, there's a cycle of night, day, night and day on the maps. And this map is one that has uh, exclusive enemies during the night. I believe everyone has ex exclusive enemies on the night, but I haven't shown them yet. Hopefully we'll find someone in this map so I can show, but we'll see one up to the until the end of the game, so no biggie worries. Let's move continue. Cleaning the track. And I don't know why I'm not being good at aiming the lasso blast. I just gotta had to aim on the in the middle. So let's move the cannon through the tracks. Dun -dun 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 -dun. 
And this is the only thing. The game repeat. Oh no! Well, it worked. The game repeats the same adventure music most of the time. But there's something about this track that I love because I can play through this whole game without um, getting bothered by the fact that music is repeating. And if we hit him, he's going to charge at us. Let's throw the enemies here. Oh. You too. You go. Cleaning my way. Another ladder. But I forgot to open the ladder of Bud. We got arrows. Go through. And we got another obelisk. Let's clean here. Oh no, please. And one, one thing, uh, like I said before, as we go uh, moving on the game, the items we got to get are stronger. So they can help us on our journey better. Come, kitty. Kitty. I really need to clean this here, or I'm just being over uh, zealous about stuff. Am I just cleaning everything for the sake of cleaning everything? Yeah, and the shy enemies run through, run punching everything once we hit them or get in their way. I'm just gonna to be left alone. Cannonball. Oh, so many items. Oh, you win it. throw something. I'm gonna throw the catnip away. You can just you can only carry three items at once. So <laughs> oh, can I just stop getting hit, please? Please, please, uh, let's uh, just avoid him and let's jump our way through the here. I love this hover ability. It really helps to go around the map. And we're near clearing this area. There's something in this chest, health points. Oh, <laughs> a leaf. That's good. Throw here. You guys can see that my aim is really failing today. Anyway, let's continue. And I should have thrown that enemy on the cart. Yes, on the raft. But sorry, it's not a cart. Anyway. And now we can finally free that Platypus with the glasses. Hey! Now please don't try to kill me. Doctor Sid, Platy Plunk Mechanics. <laughs> this is kind of a reference to Final Fantasy. You know, the Final Fantasy series always has a card, a character called Sid. I think. I may be overthinking, but I think it's a reference to Final Fantasy. And he is always a, a, a gadgeteer or an engineer or something like that. Oh, he's gonna to fix our flute. <laughs> I love that sound. Uh oh, oh. Something big is happening. Oh my god, what's happening? It's a giant slime? Yes! It's a giant slime tank! We finally have a weapon to fight the blob, yes! And that's why I was showing 
Uh, I'm gonna, you guys are gonna see in a moment, but I don't speak, uh, explain anyway. Uh, got it rejected by the blob. <laughs> Schleimann thing. Oh, by the way, uh, Schleimann means slime in German. <laughs> Poor doctor. Anyway, uh, what I was trying to say early uh, that I, I was referenced the, through the entirety of this episode is that the items we get are used for uh, as ammunition to the tank and to craft new ammunition for the tank. So it's uh, it's it's really important for the gameplay element. And the obelisks uh, are one of the strongest items you can get early in the game. <laughs> Gonna quit the plot and join us. So convenient, huh? Anyway, let's 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 accept the doc to our team. The door is opens and he has a German accent, like wunderbar. <laughs> it's like a, a crazy German scientist or something. And yes, let's see how the tank works. Observe the upper screen. And though in the upper screen, we're gonna see um, the scenario of the battle. And they're going to... Uh, the two screens show uh, the progression of battle. We can see who is maintaining each tank and how the two force fight. And we have two cannons for a reason. Uh, it's because one cannon shuts upwards, one cannon shuts uh, straight. And if two cannon bullets hit, uh, they're going to be... Uh, colliding and blocking each other, so the, the trick for the tank battles is to try to get your ammunition to hit other tank without hitting um, your enemy's ammo. Let's look for something. And there's ammunition coming for uh, dispensers, and while here we only have uh, rocks, and in a while it's going to show a few cannon bullets. Uh, it's going to. We're gonna to be able to outfit our tank with more ammunition, and there's different types of ammunition with different effects. So it's really interesting and plays uh, on, on with an element of strategy here. But this is mostly a tutorial. We're gonna break this wall, and it's really easy to get around. It's not hard, but it's just explaining the basic system. And as uh, as, uh, as it's going to hit, uh, the ammunition is gonna fall. One interesting point here is, is that if your ammunition just ends, uh, the ammunition never ends, sorry, but uh, if your health ends, does not mean the end of the battle. There's an interesting thing here, is if your ammunition ends, we can go to the, uh, we, uh, the doors to the core or the engine of the tank will be open, and your enemy has to reach the core and destroy it to destroy the tank. So as we go fighting, we can uh, end without uh, health on our tank, without armor, if you want to say like that. And if we will be out of armor, but, but we can still win if we uh, keep pushing the enemy, the enemy to outside of the tank. So even if you're not a, like a big strategist, like I'm not, it kind of works. And we won. Sublime! <laughs> And rescued more slimes. And let's see what what has, what waits for us now. Now that we got back. Yeah, it looks like a a, a nice place to live, huh? Except for the fact that everyone's a slime. <laughs> Let's talk to the, his royal woobliness. Slime and tank. It's it's kind of interesting that they name it the tanks uh, after German words. There are other tanks that are not not named af uh, after German words. They are named after puns, actually. 
But yeah, it's kind of interesting. Uh, and I'm not be doing the, uh, a German accent when when talking about Doctor Sid, because uh, even though I, I love the way he talks, I already have a pretty heavy accent myself. So it's going to be weird if I'm trying to pretend uh, another accent while I'm speaking. And yeah, more and more allies here, and let's let's end this episode here. So next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime, we'll continue our adventure. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this episode, you can press the like button. If you want to see the next episodes uh, and receive them on your subscription feed, so click the subscribe button. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.